Cheers, Drew. Oh my god, hi. Wow, this mug. I got mug envy going on here. That's that nice. is substantial. It is, it is, it is a thing. Is that a locally sourced mug? It Drew? is. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, for those of you who are curious, yeah, my arm is getting better. Fewer bandages now. I, I did see that. Yep, it's getting, it's getting there. But, you know, I have a little bike rack. That's fine. I had a bike rack over the weekend, and then all of a sudden, right now on Monday, I had no bandage on my arm because we filmed it on Friday because Andy was off. But anyway, uh, it's all cool. But that's not all we're here I'm glad today. You're, I'm, I am glad you're still with us, though. Oh, yeah. I got knocked down, but I got up again. And I'm never going to let it get me down. Nope. You know? No. <laughs> I'm very happy you did that. <laughs> you know, that was not my first CD. Really? It was my first CD. You know, my first, uh, well, first CD. Oh, I don't even know what mine was. Mine was like a Columbia House thing. I got 12 CDs. See, that, that, that's much first. less shameful than Chumbawamba. <laughs> well, it's very telling of the times, isn't it? Yeah. My you second was Rob Zombie's Greatest Hits, which is cool, but Chumbawamba, man. Yeah, I... mine was like that with cassette tapes. My first cassette tapes was Salt and Pepper, <gasps> Shoop, yeah. And then my second one was Queen's Greatest Hits, which was like, Respectable! Yeah. So I kind of wish I'd bought that one first, because that would have been a more substantial like first thing to buy. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know why my parents let me get Salt and Pepper. I listened to that and I was like, what are, what are all these words? What are they singing about? I was like nine. Like, I was not age appropriate for that music. Anyway. We have pens to talk about! <laughs> yes we do. Twisby 580 ALR Purple. That's what we're talking That's about today. That's the new one, the new hotness. But we also wanted to take the opportunity to talk about the ALR versus the AL versus the regular 580. Right. So we got kind of a two-in-one yeah. situation here, in addition to mugs and bike wrecks and salt and pepper. <laughs> so you just what you need you for your action, day. Action-packed right now this morning. But so. there are some subtle differences that could be a little deceiving if you did not have a discerning eye. So we're here to be that discerning eye for you. Yes, indeed. We are your eyes. So uh, what do you want to do? Should we unbox first or do you want to like- Unbox! The, the differences? Unbox? Okay. Well, Let's unbox. unbox. I feel like okay. that's a good idea that I <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so there you go. Always cut away from you for safety. Mm, but there towards Andy. Well, you know, I don't really care as much about her safety. I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Um, anyway, so Twisby has a very Apple-esque kind of box. For those of you who are not familiar with it, it's got some little happenings inside there. It says, hey, don't destroy your pen. And then it has instructions about how to take it apart, which very few people actually understand. But that's okay, because we shot a video, multiple videos on that. And very few people actually include instructions on how to fill a fountain pen. Like, for all the it's fountain true. pens we sell, there are so many, none of them actually say, here, how's, this is how you fill it, this is what you do with it. And people get fountain pens like, I don't even know what to do with yeah. it. Yeah. So it's cool. But that's why we got Fountain Pen 101 with lots of other tangent videos yes. about how to do that kind of stuff. 580 ALR Purple, here it is. So, um, it comes taped on the sides, you gotta undo it here. Look at that. This is my personal pen, so I can be as destructive as I want. So you can just destroy it if you wanted to. No, I'm not gonna do that. So, it's got these little clips, you hold it in there, and then, for those of you that don't know, you pull it out, and there's little bonus gifts in the bottom. That is right. There's a wrench, oh, which I have like eight million of these now. There's a wrench, and then there's silicone grease, which is like really liquidy silicone grease. More liquidy than the stuff that we sell. But that's okay, it still works great. You do not need to open it up and add grease when you buy it. No, you do not. In fact, you don't need to do it for probably a while. Anyway, so it's got the got the little tools down in there, and then it's got the parts and pieces, and we can just get that out yeah, of the shot. Yeah, because that is unnecessary. That's not why we're here. Boom, the pen. There so, it is. 580 ALR. So this is uh, a relatively newer model of Twisby. Mm -hmm. So it's a variation of the 580 and the 580 AL. Um, so yeah. Anyway, here's the purple. Let's go ahead and talk about the color first. So this is the purple AL. So yeah. This a new ALR, AL. which is launching AL. next week, and then very the similar, very very similar, slightly less purple, slightly less vibrant, a little bit muted, um, but it's very very close. But you can see the trim is kind of what stands out to me first. Yeah, you've got the trim ring, same as the AL, but it's mm -hmm. actually color coordinated on this one. Yep. Same with the main trim band around the cap, mm -hmm. and then the uh, top finial trim as well. That's right. So you get a little more purple for yeah. your dollar mm -hmm. uh, versus the regular AL. Now these pens are actually the same price too. Um, now the biggest difference in functionality between these two models of pen is going to be the texture. Yeah. Right. So you've got those additional like color pieces, but the texture you're going to have a ribbed uh, cap finial mm -hmm. uh, here on the top, whereas it's just smooth chrome on here, and then you have the grip, which is the biggest difference between these two models, the AL 
R and the regular AR. So this has a very slight texture to it, right. which and some people think is amazing, and it, some people think it's the worst. To thing me, ever. it looks more um, tactile than it actually feels. Yeah, like you see the ridges, but when I feel it, I don't personally feel the ridges. Yeah, they're so fine. And I don't think they're very pronounced at all. It doesn't bother yeah. me. In fact, if you take your fingernail and like grind it against it, yeah, that feels funky. But oh yeah, for the most part, when you're holding it with your actual fingertips, it's not a big deal. But I think it does oh, lend. You can hear that. Somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah. But that's not. It's not going to drive somebody crazy. It's not going to feel weird. Sorry. You're not going to do that. But probably so it, not. I don't, I don't think you might. You're just like sitting there in a meeting next to somebody. No, and, no, yeah. you don't. No one yeah. does that. No, stop. <laughs> No one does that. It, no one should do that. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> I think it's fun. Anyway. It is fun. Not that, but this is fun. Yeah. Fair um, enough. Let me feel. Let me feel. Let yeah, me go for it. To me, to me, you get more of an all-around kind of grip. Okay, you, you do feel a little bit. On the, yeah, you definitely feel it. You definitely feel it. You, feel it. you definitely feel it. But you no, get, it's not bad. So this, the, the regular AL has a matte finish to it. This one, it actually feels a little slicker going around the grip, like going with the grooves. Oh, yeah. But you're not moving back and forth. So no. like, if you have a problem with gripping too close to the nib, like that will not move in your hand. Right, that's true. Nib, because those ridges are gonna like lock right. it in. And there. you don't really move your fingers up and down the grip while you're writing anyway. While you're getting into position, you feel a little bit, but then once you're there, you're writing. You're locked in. You yeah. shouldn't be moving your fingers around. If you're doing that, it's not going to give you a consistent writing experience. Anyway, yeah. you're just doing life wrong. So what if purple's not my thing, Brian? What if I still like this, but I don't but want the purple? You should get out. Should Bye. Get out. Just kidding. See ya. I'm going to take over the rest of this. Andy, you want to hop in here? That's why he doesn't pick up the phones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm actually um, a terribly mean person in real life. <laughs> oh, he's awful. I'm just, just a monster. I'm just kidding. Uh, no. So, uh, yeah, if you don't like purple, so there's the regular one, which is the nickel, which is like a gunmetal kind of color. Yeah. Exact same pen, the 580 ELR, just has nickel color trim instead of the purple. So, yeah. definitely more of a, you know, neutral color, if you will. I mean, the purple is pretty subtle anyway. It's not like it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to grab your attention from across the room. And mine's inked up here because I, well, I'm using it right there now. There you go. I'm actually carrying it around. Uh, but anyway, so that's the biggest difference between these two is those ridges. Yeah. Uh, and same price, same nib options. They're both, uh, you know, $60, $65 if you get the 1.1 nib. It's a little bit more. Um, stainless steel, number five nib. I don't know. Extra fine, 1.1. Uh, sorry, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and then 1.1. Uh, what else was I going to say about it? Yeah, 60 to 65. That's I right. That. I said that already. Um, I have notes. And then we can kind of uh, go back a little bit and talk yeah. about if you did like the aluminum look, but yes. the ridges are not your jam. Yeah, well that's what the AL is for. That's right. Same price, same nibs, same everything, just those different colors. They do have more color options that have existed before in special editions. This one was a turquoise, there's a lot of others, there's a, there's a, a regular just uh, what's it called? Metal? Uh, yeah, metal. just aluminum. Yeah, aluminum. So this one has silver accents, mm -hmm. so it's, it's much more subtle. Right. Uh, and looks a lot more like a 580, to be honest with you. Right, so they're not going with the whole let's color coordinate everything yeah. with the regular AL. Mm -hmm. the, the trim is not going to be coordinated like you will see on the ALR special edition. So if you want to compare... Yeah, um, I mean, you can hold up the turquoise yeah. one and see the difference. So they're going to keep the chrome accents. <coughs> so if you... If you like it, if you like the color accents mm -hmm. but don't want all the color accents, yeah. the AL is probably the better way to go. So the cap on this one's going to be the exact same as what it is on the regular 580. Yeah. You're going to get the colored grip, you're going to get the colored uh, piston rod, mm -hmm. because that's aluminum and, and colored there, and then the piston mechanism. Yeah, all the side. internal components pretty much, yeah. other than the gasket. Exactly. So you'll get those color accents, um, not quite as much as you will on the ALR. Yeah. Now, there's a bigger difference between these two and the regular 580, which is what we have right here. I mean, bigger difference being relative because they're still very subtle. You know, one other thing I'd like to mention, if you are in the market for one of these things, you can see on this uh, purple ALR that the piston rod itself has some white-ness mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. it. This is um, grease specifically designed for the aluminum piston rod, mm -hmm. and this is not to be rubbed off or replaced with the grease that's inside yeah. the box. So don't mess with this. If you see it, it's totally normal. There's no it's, need to take it off. It's yeah. supposed to be there, mm -hmm. and it's specifically for aluminum. The stuff that's that right. you have um, in the box is not. My guess that. is a little thicker, more like a lithium grease as opposed to a silicone grease. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. 
Uh, and then we have the regular 580, which is a little bit less expensive, $50, 55 if you get the 1.1. Uh, and this one, you're going to have the exact same design size, the body and everything is going to be completely identical. But the bigger difference here is you're going to have a clear grip, on the clear version anyway, uh, and then you're going to have uh, plastic components on the piston rod and the piston mechanism instead of aluminum ones. So that's really about it. So the cap on this versus the 580 AL is exactly the same, Yeah, except you know it says AL on the mm -hmm. back of the center band on the, on the AL. And then those specific components, the grip, piston rod, and piston mechanism. Actually, it doesn't say that. It just says ALR. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you said it said AL. Oh, the AL. No, it doesn't say that. No. Oh, just 580. Ah. So it is the exact same cap. Well, well, well. Okay. But the so ALR does say 580 AL, ALR. Well, that makes sense because the yeah. center band is completely different. It is. So a little economies of scale there. So, yeah. Okay, so the cap is exactly the same between those two, but it's the pen itself that's going to be a little bit different. That's and right. we do get questions from time to time, can you switch the nibs in between these? The nibs themselves are exactly the same, Identical. but the grips are not going to fit uh, entirely the same because of the thickness of the metal and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So if you want to swap nibs in between these models, you have to actually like remove the nib housing from the yeah. grip. Or the nib itself. a little itself. surgery or yeah. the nib itself. Yeah, it's a little bit more work. We're not going to get into that here no. because that is a little more involved, but it is possible with some some nib surgery. And some special considerations. The feed is a little flimsy on these pens, so yeah, you want to be, be extra careful. careful. You got to be careful with that. Okay. But that's them. Yeah. So, so the main difference is, you know, amount of aluminum in the components mm -hmm. and the type and uh, color and pattern of the aluminum. Yep. And then, uh, so this 580 ALR purple uh, is a special edition. We do not know if we're going to be getting a follow-up shipment. We're going to get our first one next Tuesday is when we're going to launch mm -hmm. it. Um, so if you're hot on this, be ready to go next Tuesday uh, and sign up for the email notification list. That's the best way to go. go like midday. For sure. Um, that's the plan right now, unless something completely crazy happens, we'll change that. But check the product page because we'll keep that updated. Uh, and yeah, so. And also our social channels. Sell. If we if we, sure. if we have you know a specific time, we'll let you know. Yeah. I think they're going to sell pretty quickly because the email list is already pretty high and it's Twisby, so everything sells pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, I think that probably answers everything we had to say today. There you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Yeah. If you're in the market for Twisby, any of these are great choices, but hopefully we've highlighted yeah. a few uh, factors that might be important to you. Absolutely. Thanks so much for watching and right on.